Welcome to the weekday report for Thursday, February 13th. I'm Joe Potente. Here's a brief look at the news. This winter's deep freeze has left behind at least one positive consequence, fewer potholes, for now anyway. City Street Superintendent John Pridgick said the pothole situation is expected to get worse in the coming weeks as the ground begins to thaw. While potholes have been less numerous than usual, the deep frost has pushed up the pavement on some area roads, leaving a washboard-like surface. County Highway Director Gary Sipsma said those conditions should improve as the frost subsides, though there will be permanent damage in some places. The city's approval of the Meyer store on Green Bay Road will stand after a judge on Wednesday dismissed the final claim in a lawsuit filed by a neighboring resident. Virginia Hoekstra alleged the city violated its own ordinances in granting a conditional use permit for the nearly 200,000 square foot store. Kenosha County Circuit Judge Bruce Schrader disagreed saying the city's job is to balance everything and make the best decision it can, and that the council ultimately took a vote in the city's best interest. The city took formal possession of the former Chrysler property on Wednesday. The announcement was the formal end of a deal that was approved long ago, wherein the old Carco Liquidation Trust demolished the engine plant buildings before deeding the land to the city. Mayor Keith Bosman said the city is now in the position to write the next page in history for the historic property, Environmental cleanup is expected to begin soon. Kenosha County soon plans to add dedicated bicycle lanes to both sides of Highway H between Highway 50 and the Illinois state line. Highway Director Gary Sipsma and an engineering firm held a public informational meeting about the plan late Wednesday afternoon at Lakeview Technology Academy. They were there to discuss the project with visitors and to take input from the public. They hope to complete the work by fall 2015. A Genoa City family gave thanks to the Sharing Center in Trever on Wednesday, cooking up a luncheon for the volunteers who have helped them through some tough times. Christina Parker, who is battling leukemia and lupus, turned to the Sharing Center as her family saw its resources stretch beyond the limit. The center responded with vouchers for medications, blankets, and food, and winter clothes for her daughters. In serving the lunchtime meal, Parker said she wanted to find some way to give back to the center. It was Carthage in a rout at Tarble Arena Wednesday night. Andrew Horshack has the story. The Carthage men's basketball team snapped a two-game losing streak with a resounding 76-56 victory over Elmhurst on Wednesday night at Tarble Arena. With Marlin Sr. and birthday boy Cameron Van Wyke leading the way, the Redmen out-rebounded the Blue Jays 39-22 and all but secured a spot in the upcoming CCIW tournament. Senior led Carthage with 21 points and 9 rebounds and Malcolm Kelly chipped in with 17 points. Andrew Horshack, Kenosha News. What's trending today? Comcast has agreed to buy Time Warner Cable for $45.2 billion in stock. Will bigger mean better for customers in terms of service provided, or is it the return of a monopoly like the Bell system, which the government broke up in the 1980s? Tell us on our Facebook page. Up next are Brian Sharkey and Liz Snyder with some Get Out Entertainment ideas. Hi, I'm Brian Sharkey. And I'm Liz Snyder with your entertainment news, which this week it's all about romance. Valentine's mm -hmm. Day is Friday, yes. which means the clock is ticking to get something planned. The Get Out section offers a bunch of options for the weekend, including Shakespeare, hot cars, snowshoes, cute dogs, and even a trip to the tropics. I will take that for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we also tell you about two local exhibits, Fiber Shows at the Anderson Art Center and the Branding Creativity Show at UW Parkside. The Parkside exhibit features a wide range of works from 20 artists in the Plaid Tuba Group. I love the name Plaid Tuba. I know, but no tuba. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> local music shows include performances by the Cal Bergendahl Project and singer-songwriter Kevin Presby at Sazzy B. Movies opening this weekend include three remakes, About Last Night, Endless Love, and Robocop. The romantic movie Winter's Tale, based on a popular novel, also opens for this Valentine's Day weekend. For all these stories and more, see Friday's Get Out Entertainment section. I'm Liz Snyder. I'm Brian Sharkey. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Thanks, Brian and Liz. Now here's a look at what we're working on today. James Lawson is looking into Snap-on's efforts to lure in defense contracts. And downtown Wi-Fi and the Elks Club property are on the agenda tonight for the County Board's Finance Committee. Terry Flores will be there. 
Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check kenoshanews.com for all the details on these stories and more. I'm Joe Potente with the Weekday Report.